this demo I'll show you how to use the REST services to access the issue tracking system inside the Oracle Developer Cloud Service. So this is our system, currently we have a bunch of issues here and you can use REST services to access them. If you go into the documentation for Developer Cloud Service, um, on the left here you'll see REST APIs and over here you'll be able to see the list of all the REST endpoints that you can use to interact with issues, to get a list of issues, create an issue, things like that. And um, there's also a quick start here that can be used for, for getting started. So what I'm going to show you is first this little service here, which returns a form that you can use to create an issue. Okay. So this is the endpoint that you want to use. Okay. And again, one of the tricky parts is figuring out what is the exact URL for the service. So if you look at your project, you'll have the URL here. But the important part that is sometimes a little tricky to get is this section over here at the end of the Maven repository. This part, okay, before the Maven. This is actually something you would need in your URL. So this one, together with the parts that are over here, are what's going to construct your REST URL. And you can find the exact explanation inside my blog entry. Anyway, at the end of the day, for my case, this URL ended up being this one. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just use a curl command okay, to get this. Okay, so we need to provide a username and then paste the path to the REST endpoint and we're going to put this into a file. So we'll call this one the issue um, dot, let's say, JSON file. Okay, we need to provide the password when we execute this. Okay, and now if we look at the issue, okay, should have a file here, and you can just edit it. So I'm going to just use the file, double click on it and edit it. And as you'll see, it's kind of an empty template where you can fill out information. So for example, the summary definition of your issue. Okay, so maybe your issue is that uh, need REST service for jobs, for example. Okay, you can say this is a task, for example. Okay, and um, maybe even give a little bit in the description here. Um, so let's update this one. A job tables need a exposure. Okay, so that would be just the basics. Now, what you want to do before you actually use this is remove this part, the create issue. Okay, and this means that you also need to remove one of the curly brackets at the end. Okay, so now we're ready to save this file. Okay, with the changes. And now we can go back and invoke a command that would actually update our issue. So first, let's see the issues that we currently have. So let's look at all the issues. Okay, we have about one, two, three, four, five issues in here right now. If we now go over and use the this command, okay, this curl. Okay, I'm actually going to need to change one thing here, which is the name of the file. So we call this one issue right. um, right, so let's pick this one up copy it and over here we can clear this and issue the curl this one we're using a post okay same username same URL but at the end okay we're just using issues so this uh, because we're using a post it's basically going to update the issues object we're uh, passing a parameter for our file and we're also giving the content type of our file. Okay, we need the password. And you see what has been returned for us is actually the new issue. Okay, if we scroll up, this is a pointer to the new issue. So we could have put it into um, a file and then we can update it as well. 
but just to show you that the new issue has been created, if we go back to our issues page and refresh, okay, now we have a new issue um, over here, need a REST service for jobs, you can click on it and continue to work with it as usual, again it's a task um, and the information is basically provided in here. Now one of the nice thing is that because you have this interface to issues, okay, if we can clear this one, and I'll just pick up the previous um, command but remove a bunch of the stuff that I don't need here, okay, um, so just leave the end URL for issues and we're going to use a simple get command instead of a post for this one. This would return a list of all the issues. Let's do just this one. Um, actually, let's put the list into a file so we will be able to then edit it. Okay, so again, I'm scrolling all the way to the end. Take a little bit. Okay, and we're going to put this one uh, into issues list .txt, for example. Now, actually, let's do a JSON file. Password. Okay, and now again, if we look at our directory, new file, issues list, double click on it. Okay, and now you have the full list of all the issues in your system available for you um, in a way that you can use other tools to go over this list. So I actually created a little application in Oracle Visual Builder Cloud Service, which is what you can see here that access this data. So if we run this little application right now, okay, and we'll refresh the page, okay, we should see one of the issues, the issue that we created for the REST service to access um, our jobs table. So here's the issue over here, okay, can go over and look at it, for example, in a different format in a mobile device. So for example, this is a useful uh, approach to create a mobile interface on top of developer cloud service if you want to look at your issues and you need to get some information about it. And you can see that this has been created three minutes ago. Okay, so that was our demo.